Greetings. Happy Wednesday. So, Mr. William McRae did a live last night. The live was entitled, um, Something Concerning the Verdict. Um, and he probably talked about the verdict, the verdict of Derek, um, Chauvin. Did I say his name correctly? Anyway, he talked about the verdict for about, about two minutes, max. Um, and then he went on, uh, his next topic was talking to the trolls and, and um, saying that somebody was texting his phone and then he was inviting that person over to the radio station to meet up with him and <clears throat> who was texting his phone. Now, let me make it clear. I do not text William. I do not call William. I have never texted or called William. So I just wanted to make that clear. I don't think he's accusing me of it, but I did want to make that clear for his fans. Hey, Tracy, a.k.a. Terry, um, that I do not call nor text him. Um, never have, but, um, so he went on that. He didn't mention me, you know, he calls me cruiser, not miss cruiser, but just cruiser. Um, uh, so he didn't mention me briefly. And then he went on to argue with somebody named Jay. Uh, I don't know who Jay is, but, uh, it seems that Jay have shaded him, um, in some way. So I'm going to just basically do a recap because YouTube, uh, they allow for a recap to be done on videos. He also said that, um, you know, he's moving. He, he didn't use these words. Basically he says he's moving in silence. He likes to catch people with the element of surprise. Um, and he said that YouTube give addresses. I don't think a large, um, corporation, a large business like Google will break privacy laws and give people's addresses out. Um, I could be wrong, but I doubt that very, very, very seriously that they will breach such uh, privacy laws, privacy acts um, and give out people's um, addresses to a stranger on the phone. That's not even a partner in partnership with them or in, you know, don't have a channel or, or anything like that. But anyway, that's what he said. So just to recap, like I said, YouTube will allow to play a small clip as long as I am. Uh, providing commentary. So I'm going to recap what he talked about last night. So he talked about the verdict for, you know, about two minutes. And then he went on and talked to the trolls and threw out his threats about sharing his videos and talk to people, meet me over at the radio station. This is the address, blah, blah, blah. So then he went on to talk about a bishop. And I don't know what bishop he was referring to, but he was talking about, you know, sharing, teasing about sharing some video that he have of a bishop. And because I don't watch him like all the way through, I kind of red ball it. That's a term I got from Duchess Kelly Love. Shout out to Duchess Kelly Love. But I, I kind of red ball it through. I can't watch it, you know, all the way through. His videos are sometimes over two hours long. But he was talking about, about a bishop. And he was teasing that he had some video and he seen his his ping and you know and, and he was talking along those terms and he said that if he get a total of five hundred dollars in his cash apps that he would upload whatever video he was talking about on his uh obnoxious website obnoxious tv website that he uh recently launched um so he talked about that then he somehow got on uh, Kevin Bond, uh, Hezekiah, Kirby Brown, and he starts talking about Kirby Brown uh, abruptly left New York as though he ran from New York. And he was like, why would somebody want to move New York? It's so great. They named it twice uh, and moved to Danville, Virginia. Now, he kind of threw a little shade or, or said a few things about Kirby and Hezekiah Walker. To my understanding and to my remembrance, Hezekiah and Kirby are cousins. Uh, Kirby, Kirby Brown and Hezekiah Walker, they're cousins. Kirby Brown is originally from South Carolina. He's not from New York. I think he was there because he was singing with uh, Hezekiah Walker and doing music with his cousin. Uh, but he's not from that area. He's actually from uh, the South. And when you hear him talk, you know immediately uh, he's from the South, like myself. And, um, and I do think that he lives in Danville, but, uh, as someone said in his comments, Kirby have lived a lot of places. Uh, in fact, I recall when Kirby was in Dallas, uh, for a, a, a long period of time because he was, uh, preaching and singing over at Herman Murray's church. Y'all remember, 
uh, or y'all probably know Herman Murray. I think I'm saying his name correctly. A uh, full gospel, a full gospel church. And so now um, Kirby, you know, Kirby goes all around um, preaching and singing. But I think that he now lives in uh, Danville, Virginia. So he tried to make a big deal of why uh, he would choose to live in Danville. Um, and then he got back on Hezekiah and he wanted to know uh, what happened, you know, during uh, Hezekiah and Monique's breakup. Monique Walker and Hezekiah, you know, they were married many years ago. They have a daughter. She should be 24 now because uh, uh, I think Monique had her daughter one week before I had my daughter. My daughter's 24. Um, and he wanted to know what happened with that. And he wanted some, I guess, some gossipy details. And he said, you know, back then there wasn't any social media or videos. So, um, you know, we don't have, you know, I guess he wants to tea on that, somebody else's business. And he said that they hated each other. I'm like, how do you know they hated each other? Usually when people break up and divorce, they don't particularly like each other. That's the whole purpose for divorce. I don't see, really see a big deal in that. But he went on about that. And then he talked about Hezekiah Walker not, you know, being single for so many years. He said 15 years. I don't love being Hezekiah Walker's business. Um, and he talked about him uh, being single for for so much time. And then he started talking about bishops who were not married or people who were in ministry who were not married. And that's when it got interesting with, to me. I know, happen to know of Hezekiah. I have met Hezekiah Walker in person. Um, I used to sing with High Point Community Choir, um, which is a choir out of High Point, North Carolina. Um, some people that people may know now uh, that sings um, professionally used to also sing with High Point Community Choir, one being Fantasia Barino. Fantasia Barino sang with the choir. In fact, uh, one of the young men that he talked about, Otis Battles, which was over the choir, his sister, Osla Battles, sings professionally and she used to sing back up for Fantasia for many, many years. But so he went on to talk about that and he was talking about all the people that had girlfriends or got married. You know, he said James Hall dated somebody and he was talking about, again, he was talking about Kevin Bond and then he said, and, and Otis Battles even married Bridget. You know, he was talking about how back in the day folks. So I think he trying to insinuate that these question, these people's sexuality and insinuate things about their sexuality. Cause he was talking about Otis um, getting married. And I happen to know, like I said, I used to be on High Point Community Gospel Choir and I happen to know Otis very well. Our families are very, very close. Um, I've known Otis since he was nine years old and I was 11 years old. Um, that's how far back we go. We lived in the same neighborhood, went to the same elementary school, we rode the bus together. Um, and uh, But let me let y'all hear him, the little clip of what he had to say about Hezekiah and Otis Battles. Listen, I want to talk to them. I really want to talk to them. I want to know. Why, why did Monique, why did Monique, who was the first lady, why did she leave? Why did she divorce her husband? And then they had such a tumultuous divorce. You know, like, they didn't just divorce. They, like, divorced and they hated each other. Like, why was that? And Hez has been, so has, has Hez been single all this time and never dated anybody seriously? Like, has he ever been close to, um, like, a, a female that we know of that, that he was going to marry? Or that he was going to be with? Or that, because, you know, even James has had, James had Kim and, you know, Otis Battles, Mary Bridget. You know, it's like different ones in that clique and around them, you know. Eric McDaniels was married to, I can't think of his wife's name, but you know, it's like different people in that clique and around them, they did get married. But I mean, has he just been single all this time and, and known no woman? Like you really supposed to expect your bishop to have been single 15 plus years. So, yeah, that's the video that's about, and this is Otis Battles that he's talking about. Now, William is the type of person that will hang around somebody and act like they're friends and then talk and then talk trash about them. 
Um, but um, stop talking about my friend, William. Don't talk about my friend. Like I said, uh, Miss Miss Cruiser's in this picture, y'all. This this picture go back to the '90s. I think this was somewhere around 1991, 1992, when I used to sing on the on the on the choir. I don't know if y'all can spot me in this picture, but I'm somewhere in this picture, y'all. I'm not even gonna tell y'all whether I sing alto or soprano. But uh, me and and my sister uh, used to sing with this choir way back in the day. That's Oslo down there. I'm trying to see if Fantasia. I don't think she's in this picture. But Oslo. But anyway, that's a blast from the past. So Otis, since he brought up Otis, I did want to uh, give a shout out for uh, to Otis Battles. Um, he's still doing well. Um, like I said, he he he. I used to be on his choir. He's done a few CDs, um, a few projects, um, and, um, uh, his car is, is his, uh, bishop and his mentor. And, um, I go way back with them, but anyway, uh, Otis uh, pastors the church in, in High Point, North Carolina, where he's from. Well, Otis really was born in Philadelphia. He was always lived between High Point, North Carolina and Philadelphia. Uh, but he, he, pal he, pastors the church in, in High Point, but he also owns a food truck that's doing very, very well. Uh, he launched the food truck, I think last year. Um, who was it that came to sing? I wish I would have looked up the name, but he had a real nice, uh, to launch this food truck. He had, uh, Kiki Wyatt, Kiki Wyatt came and Coco, and I can't remember who else, but it was a very, very nice uh, concert. And he launched his food truck. His food truck is named after his grandmother. Uh, her name was Johnny May. And um, he's doing very well with it. Uh, he was at the um, Super Bowl with it. He's He does it here locally. He's all in New York, as you can see from this flyer here. Um, anywhere there is a major event, um, he goes and uh, his truck is doing very well. So just thought I would bring that up since he mentioned Otis Battles and he was talking about Hezekiah last night. Uh, but the, the main thing is, is that he kept offering to that if he get $500 total in his cash app, he was going to release this video of this bishop. And I don't know whether the bishop is just showing himself naked um, or if, if he was actually involved in some intimate um thing but yeah he said he was going to show this video so i hope he didn't usually i don't want to block people's money but because he's threatening to show a video of somebody i hope he didn't get that 500 dollars because i don't want him showing that video of that man's personal business men probably don't seek forgiveness and and and, and, and gone on with his life and uh but anyway Hopefully somebody will upload the whole video. Um, he have requested that I not um, post his videos in full. So I do within, I stay within what is allowed that YouTube allow, which is to do commentary in a small clip. So I have done that. But if I find out where you can get the full video from, y'all know I will let you know. I will let you know. So William, I am sticking to what you have asked me to do. I'm not contacting you. I'm not cash apping, apping you. None of the none of the people who are sub to me are cash apping you. And I am not uploading your videos. So you can move on from me and leave me alone. And uh, yeah, one other interesting thing. I saw my buddy Tracy. Hey, Tracy. And he calls Tracy Terry. He was telling Tracy, you didn't cash out me. And Tracy was like, yes, I did. Tracy, by the way, y'all, if y'all wonder who Tracy is, Tracy is the person that snitched on me, who constantly snitches on me. But last night, Tracy told William, I think Miss Cruiser likes you. I do like him, Tracy, a.k.a. Terry. I do like William. I find him entertaining. I don't want to beef with him. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, so Tracy, he was getting on Tracy about not cash apping him. And Tracy was like, I do cash app you. I cash app you. And I even had my neighbor to cash app you. I was like, whoa, you can your neighbors and family and friends and co-workers and, 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 and your, all the church members to cash app, William. Uh, that's funny. Tracy is a true fan, a loyal fan. Go ahead, Tracy. Is that all that I wanted to discuss? So, yeah. So if I find out anyone who's sharing the video in full, um, I will let you guys know, but I did want to do a recap because he did come on 
and uh, did a uh, a live last night. And he was in one of his messy moods. He was in a messy, giggly, um, you know, mood last night. He was pretty funny. I didn't watch the whole thing, but the little parts I watched. So before I begin to ramble, that's what happened. This is Miss Cruiser. Please like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a great day.